Dice Paper Roll is made in the lands of the Bunrong and Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation and the Jagera people. We pay our respects to their elders, past and present. Always was. Always will be. Aboriginal land. The path is set. You will find victory, or you will find death. Many trials of body and spirit await you. Stay true to your ideals, and you may yet survive. The temptations are real, and they are many. If even one of you is to succumb, all will be lost. The hill stands tall and green at the edge of Barovia. Beyond, the dark forest is swallowed by a huge wall of fog that disappears in the roiling clouds far, far above. Atop the green and verdant hill is a mighty weathered tree, its dark boughs drooping above the shape of a ramshackle hut. This hut sits out of place on the side of the hill, perched upon an enormous tree stump, its roots burrowing into the rocky hillside. Nearby, the ancient crone gathers the cooling corpses from around the nightmare tree, carefully dragging them to the claw-footed iron tub that sits beside her hut. As she deposits each body, one of the thick, ropey roots of the hut unearths itself with a crack and rumble, reaching forward with sinuous strength to grasp and lift the fresh cadaver. It swings the body over the bath, and wrings it out like a dishcloth. Blood and viscera slough into the bath below. When all have been wrung, the crone climbs in, cackling in glee as the bath of human fluid sloshes around her. As the wrinkles on her face begin to smooth, she leans back placing her head under the congealing blood, causing it to slosh over the side, spilling on the ground in a pattern. A pattern that spells DPR, Curse of Strahd. Is someone else hungry? <laughs> Howdy, partners, it's DPR Curse of Strahd, episode twenty eight. My name is Emil, and I'm the one who listens to Greg's introduction. I'm also playing Sonny, the sentient sword of the light god. He is a sword of energy and is the sworn nemesis of Strahd, who he will destroy. He also happens to be Sonny Bono, incarnate in a sword. That's me. Dan, take it from here. Hello, I am Dan Last. I am playing my new character, Sasha. Uh, who I haven't revealed what her surname is, but judging by the rest of my characters, I think you can figure it out. Uh, she is the Southern Belle uh, that is a gnome wizard of the Illusory School. It, I think I said that right. Cool. Uh, Lauren, take it away. Um, can you just tell me from a dummy perspective what the Illusory School is? Or... 
So as a wizard, you can choose different schools of uh, magic, magicry. That one's definitely not a word. Um, uh, and so you've got like uh, in the enchantment school or the necromancy school, and then you've got like illusion based uh, oh, okay. schools of magic and that kind of thing. So there's it, it, that's how the kind of uh, wizard is sort of separated from the other spell casting ones. They can kind of specify a particular kind of type of magic that they're good at. Do wizards choose or is it like are they funneled like we are yeah. in the school system? Are they like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, I guess there was all those woodwork uh, wizards that just like, you know, they got really into their like sure. mold earth and all that kind of stuff. And, <laughs> take electives in different things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would be the one that no one wanted to do then? Tethered swimming. Oh, tea making probably. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably tea leaves. <laughs> oh, yeah, tea were... reading. Ooh, yeah, you went leaves. to a wizard community college? Yeah, I've read or... Harry Potter. No one wants to hang out with Trelawney. No one. <laughs> <laughs> She's weird. <laughs> the glasses are just off-putting, that's all. Right, Emma Thompson did her justice. <laughs> they are off-putting. Um, illusionary, cool. So mm. that whole, like, she's behind you, it's like panto situation. <laughs> she's a panto wizard. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Panto <laughs> wizard. <laughs> Specialising in slapstick. But like the ingenue side. Oh, no, look over yeah. there. Uh, yes, my name's Lauren there. Bach. I'm playing Irina Indirovich, the daughter of the Burgermeister, a human sorcerer. She gained some fiery powers in a battle. Uh, she has a very mysterious past. Um, she has lots of no memory of lots of different things. She's also harboring Tatiana uh, St- St- Strad's uh, XGF. Um, Strad is after Irina, so he can release. <laughs> Uh, Tatiana, and they can once again be lovers. Uh, but Irina doesn't want to do that. Um, so, yeah, she's also got a cool new ring um, that was given to her by the Crow people. Uh, and um, she's she's doing pretty good. They've just met Sasha and uh, the other one with the leg. And... Yep, pretty pretty excited about getting on to some stride killing. Uh, ben, you can go. Uh, yes, hello. One second, Ben. Yes, yes, Sorry yes, to interrupt. Yes. I'm just, I just have a question about where indeed she's harboring Tatiana, Lauren, because, she, you know, it's not exactly hiding in her rucksack, is she? Oh, it's no. Uh, Tatiana is somewhere in her ad- adjacent to the, to the soul. Don't know. In her very cells, mm. uh, I mean, all, so all around souls the navel? are kept around, are kept in Barovia, so and they can't escape. So I assume ah. that she is maybe wrapped around Irina's soul as like a secondary, a uh, you know, a uh, layer like of a, soul, like a vine, like yeah. a creeper. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I mean, it's not mm. comfortable. Um, you know, and she carries the weight of it. <laughs> Heavy, lies heavy on the mm. soul. Um, also, I mean, I assume Tatiana's a fucking bitch, so that must be really shitty for her. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's not judge her by a choice of man, but um, I think you know. maybe she didn't choose. Look, we all go through that vampire phase, okay? Ooh, Come God. on. Um. <laughs> well, she didn't. She didn't. Uh, she didn't choose Strad. She she chose Strad's brother. So that tells us a lot about her choice in man, doesn't it? That uh, is Emil. true. Indeed. Yeah, Indeed. maybe she was all heartbroken, yeah. and Strad like swooped in like a fuck boy and like picked up the pieces while she was all vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> and she just didn't have any friends yeah, around. Twilight had just come out. She was vulnerable <laughs> <Yeah>. to be <laughs> like, oh, bitch, okay, Strad, fuck boy, and just like he's out. just really emotional, okay. Um, you know, it's a goth phase. <laughs> Come on. You would be too if you'd lived for hundreds of years. Yeah. 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 Speaking of a goth phase, my name is Ben Clements and I play <laughs> Ragog, the goblin cleric <laughs> of Lathander. Uh, he did go through a goth phase uh, in his early years. That's right. Um, he did. Before he became a, a model and a wannabe bard and then a ghost tour operator, definitely goth phase. Um, now... In the long distant past, along with his dead spouse, because he's somewhat enchanted by uh, Sasha, 
who's um who's just arrived um you know she she made a good first impression uh, enough for him to momentarily forget that um this land sucks Barovia is very depressing and um and Lathanda has set Ragyog a mission although Ragyog's also a little bit concerned that um the whole new god who dis kind of thing bit of uh uh, a weakened relationship with his deity of of late, although super stoked to have that holy uh, symbol of Ravenkind, um, mm. which looks like it'll be pretty dope against the vampires. Jackie boy, who are you playing? Yes, I'm I'm Jack, and I'm playing uh, Louise, a uh, paladin woman of the waves. Which is what I've decided to call That's her. Nice. Surf's up. Which is essentially mm. a, uh, a a a fish woman um, inside of a big diving bell, um, and uh, she's been having lots of uh, fish dreams of late, dreaming of swimming in a school of fish, working together as a collective <laughs> in the ocean. To clean and tidy and cleanse. Well, maybe not. Cleanse is not the right word, really. (laughs) Uh, uh, (laughs) Probably not. Uh, It depends. Uh, Really depends. uh, Uh, (laughs) It depends on on your brand. Um, uh, (laughs) um, Yeah. Um, uh, she's, uh, She's excited to meet some new people. Um, there has been depressingly few people to collectivize with on this journey and um, and she's excited at the possibilities. Um, Greg. Yeah, my name is Greg Pickering. I am the Dungeon Master for DPR Does Curse of Strahd and I'm also playing um, the one with the leg, uh, <laughs> Esmeralda de Avenir. <laughs> yeah, I knew the, that. Uh, famed monster hunter. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you you got to know her a little bit more. Legs Merelda. Um, Legs Merelda. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Avidia. Yep. Uh. Um, legendary monster hunter and protege of Rudolf Van Richten. I mean, legendary, um, but only as the one with the leg. Legendary. Yeah, the leg, the leg yeah. one. Legendary, yes, Jack. Yeah, yeah legendary. <laughs> She'll go on one day to star in the movie called Planet Terror. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I uh, know. Oh, I remember. Well, no, that. she's already been in a movie. It's called 127 uh, Hours. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the sequel to 100. <laughs> what is 128 it? 127 hours. legs. Um, she cut it off quicker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She cut it off one minute quicker. <laughs> yeah. um, one hour quicker. Anyway, also played by James Franco, though. So you know, he's got <laughs> range. That man, he's got range. Yeah, so he really diverse. does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, he's not diverse, is he? <laughs> 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 but, uh, he can play twelve guess. different types of stoner jack. Take that back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so you were um, outside um, the 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 fallen um, mansion uh, to the the silver dragon where you'd you'd met Esmeralda and um, Sasha, uh, and you were all sitting around enjoying some of the fine cheeses uh, that you had been gifted from mm. the Wizard of the Wines. Um, and as you sat picnicking uh, out the front of Argana Vost Holt, uh, you heard the rumbling of uh, a huge creature approaching uh, through the forest. And you're on a... Um, you're on a rise that's at the base of uh, the, the the foothills of a of a mountain, um, which uh, stretches up to the south behind you. Um, the forest uh, comes uh, around and and up to the um, the plateau that you're on, but you are above the treetop height. So the plateau um, has a single wo- uh, road that that winds up, um, but also the the road continues down below so uh, as you you're sat upon this plateau you're looking out over um, the forest and down below is the the path um, that leads you on to 
the the hill that you are uh, eventually headed to, yes, to hill, uh, where you you believe you'll find Baba Yaga. Um, so as you uh, as you hear this uh, this rhythmic thumping of this huge creature approaching through through the woods, uh, you look out over the treetops and you can see the um, the the foliage uh, rustle and you hear the crack of uh, trees as um, as a little tree. Um, <laughs> as the oh, that sounds <laughs> terrifying. Wait. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, still oh, there's two pick. of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he broke two trees. <laughs> oh, that's creaking. Funny, I had some eerie wind um, to add to this uh, this suspenseful creeping, uh, creaking and creeping. So the the um, the the foliage ripples and um, you see trees begin to sort of bend and break as this this huge figure uh, begins to approach. It's about to pass below you. So you're on the, the top of the plateau um, and the, the forest is below and the road hugs the um, the bottom of the, the cliff that uh, makes the side of the plateau and uh, the, the huge creature is moving through the woods just on the other side of the road. So you think it'll pass maybe 30 feet away from you but um, out from the plateau and it's down on the ground. It, it you think the the creature approaching maybe stands forty feet tall? Quick, everyone, hide! And Sonny, don't don't, don't l- move. Looks around to find a likely hiding spot where they could observe the uh, the creature from the dis- from a little distance. Don't actually move. You see, its its sight is based on movement. So if we stand perfectly still, it won't see us. Um, Irina looks down. This is like exceptional, a- radio. <laughs> Irina looks down at a puddle of water, and it's doing that sort of like thrumming thing, like it does in like Jurassic Park. And she's got that big, wide Laura Dern eyes on. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Dern. Um, Lauren Dern. <laughs> I, as no. as you are watching the the approaching creature, you hear the um, the clicking as uh, and you look over and Esmeralda is loading a, cr- a heavy crossbow and she's got the crank at the back uh, to pull the string back. It's like she's just clicking. She's using her leg slowly. to click it, or is she? <laughs> yeah, she's, she's using her leg to hold it down, um, like the like the IKEA desk. The reason you didn't notice that she had it before is it, it's actually built into the leg, Ooh. so she's just got the crank at the knee. And is uh, and is just click click. But as you all look at her, she just sort of stops and then <laughs> clicks it one more time. Um, <laughs> and uh, as she does, you hear uh, an an almighty creaking roar um, echo through the the woods below you. As the thunderous steps of um, a huge uh, dark treant uh, moves past, so. It's a, a tree blight. It's a 40 foot tall, um, sort of uh, creepy, spindly uh, tree creature. It, uh, it has no leaves on it and all of the bark is stained in, in greys and blacks. And as it thunders past, you see the glow of its, uh, of its red eyes in the forest below. Oh, tree man. It's a tree man. I've heard about these guys. They always know where to get the best shrooms. <laughs> so, are you all trying you gonna to roll a history avoid... check on that, or? <laughs> that's, a, that's a history nature check, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know it's a giant um, redwood uh, tree blight, uh, as you know well from your many uh, many years in California, mm. <laughs> studying, mm. uh, studying under the. Republican tutelage of uh, the governor, and um, uh, and you know these ones are particularly dangerous. So, uh, are you all trying to avoid it? Uh, it's it's gaze as it as it passes beneath you. No, we no. So far, I mean, Sonny is just taking um, Sasha's word for it that if you stand still, they can't see you. But he's definitely just eyeballing, watching the tree on, um, yeah. and in marvel, and 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 hoping he'll get an opportunity to ask where the best rooms are. 
Um, so great because you, you're all just <laughs> this is great. You're all just stood on the edge of this plateau, like frozen, <laughs> you know, like a freeze frame. Yeah. Just like, oh, hopefully it won't see us. And this trio yeah. just walks um, through the forest, and there's the trees are cracking and breaking uh, in its way. And it just it walks to the plateau, and it takes a step past you, and then it just stops <laughs> and turns around <laughs> and just eyeballs you all, um, and with a mind Mighty roar attacks you. Can you all go <laughs> on I think he saw us. <laughs> <laughs> Who moved? Damn it! Who moved? Which one of you moved? That's the last time I try to impress a strange lady. <laughs> oh no! I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> I was so hoping it would be friendly. Twenty. I was Ooh. hoping it was going to be on nice. shrooms and just thought we were all its friends. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is on shrooms, but it's assuming we're none of it is its no, friends. No, it's one of those paranoid trips. Oh no! Oh, it's on a bad, it's on a bad trip. <laughs> yeah, Arnie would get on these from time to time. <laughs> you want to get away fast. <laughs> uh, Ragyog initiative twenty-three. Uh, Louise nine, and Sasha seventeen. Okay, um, so it, it roars, um, and as you <laughs> were all just standing there, it gets a go first before <laughs> any of you act. <laughs> Sasha, I've just met you, um, but I don't like you. Uh, well, you see, I could have sworn. I, I heard that somewhere. It's one of my books. <laughs> um, Sasha, what's your armor class? <laughs> Oh, it's not very good. It's a wizard. <laughs> um, it's a twelve. Uh, I feel like this might be your shortest lived. Um, <laughs> no, um, no. Wait, yeah. can I take a reaction in a surprise round? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, surely, surely not. No, you haven't acted. You, you're no, surprised. Yeah. You thought yeah. you were uh, invisible. We're not really. We're just standing there watching, right? Surprised? No, you you are absolutely surprised that it attacked you. You thought that you were getting away with it. Um, <laughs> uh, so sorry. What was your armor class? Twelve. 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 Oh 12. god. Uh, oh god. Okay. Uh, so the um, the huge branch swings out and uh, collects you. You take nineteen hit points of damage as um, this. Ow! <laughs> that's <laughs> smart. <laughs> This 19? log-sized branch, yeah, just uh, collects you. Um, how many points do you have? Uh, so I had 33. Mm. I'm now on 14. <laughs> you are. Um, can you it's make a, a grapple check? So <laughs> in athletics. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> For whom the Southern Bell I tolls. made bad choices. <laughs> um yeah. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Athletics. Oh. That's a seven. A seven. Okay. Uh, oh dear. Um, the, <laughs> the, the you know the best words you want to hear a DM say. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Um, While they're the, laughing, the the, the, the huge. <laughs> um, um, it, as it collects you, you you're it, you're lifted up in the air, and um, vines and branches sprout out from its arm as it, it's it's carrying you through the air and bind it to the the branch. As it brings it down towards the bowl of the tree, the the center of the tree just splits horizontally uh, into this um, like with a ripping of wood sound, splits open, revealing this huge toothy maw, and oh, the the good. red eyes glow in glee as it brings you down towards uh, towards its mouth. Oh, little help. Little help. Um, okay. Uh, cool. You, you also see um, two humanoid um, figures flanking um, the the tree in the woods. Uh, one is on the the um, the road beneath you, and one is deeper into the woods. They're they're hulking barbarians. They wear furs that are again caked in that um, that that grey mud that you've seen covering the the druids. Uh, their bodies are also covered in um, in swirling uh, red tattoos um, and war paint. Uh, and they they wear they carry bones hanging about them, and uh, one of them carries a 
great axe, the one further down um, in the forest, but the one uh, on the road um, stands taller. He has a, a helmet, a fur helmet with two large horns um, sticking out either side. And his wall paint is a little bit, it's its red, but there's also blue and white in there. And he clutches a large um, spear um, that, that has a, a, um, a magical aura about it. Um, so you notice those two as well. Um, Ragyog. Uh, they're flanking the the huge tree blind. Yes. So they're 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 forty feet below you on the um, on the ground below the plateau. And how close to the tree blight are they? Uh, so uh, fifteen feet away from the tree blight. Right. And how far up roughly is Sasha from the ground? Uh, she would be twenty feet high in the middle of the tree blight. Okay. Ragyog steps forward and says, You put her down, you barky monster! And I hurl a fireball at the base of its trunk. It's a, <laughs> it's a dex 15. Um, and uh, with a 20 foot radius, it, right? Yeah. Hmm? 20 foot radius. Yeah. So. I I hurl it at the bottom at the base <laughs> of the trunk. Okay, um DC fifteen. DC fifteen. And uh it is eight D six damage. Yeah, roll roll away for the damage. Jeepers. Okay, I'm just gonna 20 feet, you are like, as Sasha's 20 feet uh, above the ground, that's pretty touch and go for the edge of that fireball. So I'm just going to... I'm gonna, a gambling man. I'm going to roll. Actually, Sasha, you can roll for it. Yep. Uh, highs or lows? Which, or roll roll well, because I just, <laughs> I just rolled 45 points of damage. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, cool. Uh, so uh, I'm just rolling a straight d20 highs, good. Pick lows, odds or bad. evens. Odds, odds or yeah, with whichever you want. Yeah, you just pick. It's a flip of a coin. Uh, it's not a flip of a coin <laughs> at all. Roll of dice. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go odds. Odds. Okay. Odds. Odds. It's a two. <laughs> Sorry, thirty-five points of damage. Okay, thirty-five points. Um, so the um, the, uh, the the fireball arcs down and thunders into the ground at the the base of this tree blight, exploding uh, in erupting in a huge ball of flame. Luckily, the um, the heat, the convection of the the fireball, um, lifts the arm slightly, so that Sasha, you just. You're just like floating just above this mass of fire as it lifts up beneath you and then um, collapses back down. I, I, I called odds and I rolled evens because I rolled a two. Um, but it's not enough. The heat, it's not about the flame. <laughs> Daddy, it's the heat. Um, I know. I'm saying I should get hurt, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cool. I'm, yeah, no, I'm just correcting my description to huh? uh, you dying. Red so... Um, <laughs> 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 um, it's often the, the smoke, the isn't it? That does the damage, not just the, not just yeah, the flames. It's really, mm. Yeah, it's the heat yeah. and the smoke oh, that yeah. really... It's the smoke that gets you yeah. in the end, um, particularly in this case. <laughs> um, the, <laughs> the explosion um, rips uh, rips Sasha out of the grasp of the, um, the trip light <laughs> up <laughs> into the air as she ragdolls um, <laughs> through through the sky um, and lands with a he- heavy uh, thump and splat behind oh. uh, the rest of you. So awesome. um, you just took 35 points. So you're on what, negative 20? Oh, let's just put this, uh, let's just punch it in. 35 points of damage, <laughs> uh, which that's actually more than my total max HP, which is 33. No, but you yeah, were but... on 19. Mm. Weren't you? You 33 minus 19 minus 35 takes you to minus 21. Mm. So you're good. You're good. Still, we can still totally save you. Good. You're still alive, I think. But- you're yeah, fine. You look Absolutely fine. fine. You look cool. fine, lady. In fact, better than I've ever seen you. I'm so, so sorry. Um. How far did I fall as well? 
<laughs> oh yeah. Well, no, Don't just really luckily, would that just be an automatic death save? No, luckily, right? The the <laughs> velocity, like you just flew as you hit the top of the arc. That was the plateau. So really, you just like lightly tumbled huh. onto with a splat. Lightly tumbled on. Onto there is the still plateau. some luck involved in this scenario. There you is. Should some. not have quoted Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Irina. Uh, oh, the the explosion rips into the um, the tree blight as well. He's uh, the tree blight is is heavily damaged. You can see the fire um, affects it more than expected. The the barbarian with the battle axe just isn't there anymore. There's, uh, there's a greasy smear where he used to be. Um, but the the one with the spear um, is only a little burnt. I, do you know what image I got when you explained that barbarian is that dickhead who. Um, who attacked the capital with the big horns? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like? yeah, that's what American. I was going for. He's carrying yeah, the presidential that's lectern that's instead of a battle for. axe. <laughs> yeah, that was going with the hordes of the nice. red, white, and blue paint. Yeah, yeah the, I'm just picking up on what I put down there. Vi- Viking decay. QAnon shaman. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's a QAnon barbarian, uh, Irina. Irina steps was. forward <laughs> and says, now we'll see who is the clever girl and uh, casts uh, <laughs> a witch bolt straight <laughs> into the maw of the tree giant. Kapow! Um, well, she tries to. She's got a nine to hit. Oof. Uh, the, uh, no, it, it, it arcs down, but the, um, and straight at this, this huge tree dude, um, but the, um, the electricity just seems to dissipate on, on its bark, uh, as it, uh, as it sort of ripples and it, it just earths, funnily enough, down the tree, doesn't do any damage. <laughs> um, just, now just we'll earths see the who's the stupid girl. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Sonny. Sonny uh, breaks into a run and goes, says, go human meat shield. Referring, of course, to his <laughs> avatar. Um, and as he, run, <laughs> as he runs past, <laughs> as he's running towards the barbarian that's left or the tattooed fella with the spear, he chucks out a tasty little bonfire smell, spell onto, uh, onto the tree aunt as he's passing by. Uh, whoops, I just rolled damage before I rolled to hit. Um, let me see, let me see. Uh, oh, is, it needs a dex 14 save. Yeah. That is a fail. Okay, so um, I, I light a bonfire at the base of his already... Uh, add a little bit of fuel to the fire, shall we say. And uh, an extra 10 points of fire damage to that tree on t- as he as he passes we call that a drive-by in LA! And he keeps running. Um, <laughs> keeps on running. And then he uh, swings his mighty blade of energy at the uh, the tattooed, spear-wielding dirty boy. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. swing at the dirty boy. So, rolls a whoa, 28 to hit. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah. Yes, that is a, oh, yeah. that is nice. a hit. Nice. So, let's roll some damage. Um, that is oh, just two points of regular damage and uh, nine points of radiant damage, so eleven points total. Okay, the um, you you hit um well, but the this barbarian moves um in a in a really fluid way and brings his um spear to to bear on you. He moves to parry um the blade, but sees that it's an energy blade at the last minute mm-hmm. and is unable to get himself fully out of the way as the the blade slices into his midsection. Um, but um, the trick with an energy blade is that it also cauterizes as it cuts. <laughs> it's, uh, so it's friendly in that there's way. This yeah. uh, smell of cooking meat um, mm. fills uh, fills your nostrils um, up above on the plateau. And being as I have action surged, which is what mm. has allowed me to do my spell and attack in the same turn, I might as well take my extra attack uh, as well and hit him again. Because Go I've got it. the taste now. I just want to. I just want to finish it. Oh yeah, that's uh, twenty-three to hit, and that is, hit. that is oh, nice. That's better. Fifteen points of damage. Dommage. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, this this um, this berserker, this barbarian is a, is a really tough cookie. You slash in, and um, again he dodges out of the way, but this time the the energy blade cuts through um, the top of his arm, leading, leaving a, uh, a a deep burn cut. Um, but he is definitely still standing. Um, he strikes at you um, with. He strikes back at you with his um, spear. What's your armor class? AC sixteen, HP seventy. Okay. Um, okay. So the the first attack um, is just strikes down, <clears throat> cutting into the side of your calf. Um, and um, and slicing, drawing blood, and it's on your bad knee side. So you, you get a bit of a stumble, which he takes advantage of, and he spins um, this like he flicks the spear up in a, a pretty pretty showy, frankly, move, <laughs> and drives it down into the top um, of your quad uh, on that same leg, spearing through with a critical hit um, down into the ground below. Critical hit. Um, so you uh, you take uh, an 11, um, 19 points of damage <clears throat> from the two hits. Oh, yeah. Um, but also as you do, as he does that damage, as that spear um, strikes into you and draws blood, the blood, instead of um, like flowing down your leg, where the spear touches it, it drinks it up. And you can see um, the, the spear soaks that blood and that energy ripples down the spear. And as it does, the wounds on the barbarian uh, begin to heal. Uh, classic blood magic. That's what a meat shield's for. Um, the tree blight um, turns um, and um, to it turns and thuds its feet into the ground. And as it does, um, the the roots dive down into the the soil below and strike up around um, the uh, through up through the ground around you, Sunny, um, and strike at you. Okay, uh, they both strike at you, but you are um, able to, uh, with a little hop and a step, able to avoid uh, the, the grasping roots as they reach for you. Um, at the same time, it swings its trunk light arm uh, towards you, Ragyog, um, the slinger of the, um, the fireball. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, but it is um, it is too too badly singed to be able to get a, a good swing at you, and um, the the trunk like arm just thuds into the side of the plateau, shaking some rocks loose, which which fall down below. Uh, Louise, it is your go. Louise looks over at the the end, and then over at uh, Sasha, and then over at the end. And then looks at Sasha and goes, ah, all right. And uh, m quickly moves over to her and, and clasps her hands into the air and, uh, and, and sort of magical hammer and sickles kind of form in her hands and, and, and red light shines out and she lays hands on Sasha and, and starts doing CPR um, and uh, provides... 30 health points. Did you say CCCPR? Yeah, that's right. CCCPR. <laughs> um, I don't... Now, can I... Can I do that and then an attack? Probably not, hey? No, lay on hands is a full action, full I action. think. So, yeah, um, think yeah right. you, you take up your turn going over, but laying on hands, 30 hit points brings... I think brings Sasha back to consciousness. Is that right? Should do. Yes. I was on minus 29 or something. Minus 21. <laughs> Amazing. 21. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you're on nine hit points. So um, knitting knitting together the um, the like the burns uh, on, on her skin and um, healing the broken bones uh, with a gasp, Sasha um, comes uh, back to life. That was my entire pool. You better use it. <laughs> Come on. Up. Okay. 
see Thank a big God. fucking tree, life finds a way. <laughs> hey, see what I did there? Another Jurassic Park reference. Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? It's even better when you have to explain. I got it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's your go, Ragyog. Um, Ragyog, heaving a silent sigh of relief inside that he hasn't just killed uh, his new favourite person, um, summons a scorching ray and fires all three of them down at the top of Tree Boy's head. Burns his, all his hair off. All the tree hair, the leaves. Yeah. So uh, that is... Sorry, excuse me. My poor Tree Boy. Ah, oh, poor Tree Boy. Scorching Ray, that's a plus seven to hit. So I'll do... Oh, no. Ah, oh, that's a 20! Uh, a 20 and a 12. Uh, uh, 12 so, in total? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, so the 12, the 12 misses 20 and a 12. Oh, right, dirty so 20. A, there's a dirty 20 and a nat 20. <laughs> the dirty 20 hits. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so that is... Two. So the critical does 12, 15 points of damage, mm-hmm. and the other one does seven points of damage. Oh, Flame erupts from Ragyog's hands as he screams in rage. Um, there's a photosynthesis joke in there somewhere. I just can't find it. Can't synthesize it. Um, <laughs> yeah, can't the, synthesize the flaming, the burning rays strike down um, and into the top of the top half of the tree blight, and it um, it erupts in flame. And it's the top of its head sort of creaks back, um, and it's more opens doubly wide, and, and you can hear cracking of of the wood as it sort of flails around. And in in its more in its gullet, deep down, you see the shine of of a um, of a large like magical gem, the size of a the size of an ostrich egg, which um, you recognize as being twin to the one that Davian showed you um, mm. it, at the Wizard of the Wines. Um, and it, it roars, it roars in pain um, uh, as the, the flames eat into the top of its head. It's hurt, it's hurting real bad, Irina. It's your goal. Yes, you're hurting real bad, ha ha. Uh, she's going to <laughs> try again with a witch bolt. Come on, we can do it this time, buddy. It's just you and me now. We can do this. 16. I forgot, I'd forgotten which spell you used before. <laughs> 16 to hit is, yes, that hits. That connects. Oh, thank fuck for go. that. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Um. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, <laughs> uh, is it a two damage? One. That, two. That doesn't seem right, but hang on. I think I'm using the wrong. Do I? I only throw one d12. Oh, uh, I can throw that. I can throw three d12 actually for a third level spell. Right. There we go. Eleven. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Eleven. Um, the the line 11, of electricity um, arcs down um, from your hands as you uh, you channel uh, the witch bolt into the uh, open moor of the tree tree blight, and the electricity arcs down and, and wraps around the magical gem that that um, sits in the the trunk of the tree blight. And the electricity courses through it. Its its arms and branches move in, in a jerky fashion as the electricity courses through its body. Sunny, <sighs> Sunny. Uh, yes, I've spared some expense. Uh, Sunny, <laughs> in the heat of combat with this necromatic uh, barbarian, tattooed barbarian. Uh, Mm, he tries to shove him away a bit and then swings again with uh, with that sun sword. Tries to tries to go for the legs this time. Mix it up a little bit. Goes for the legs just to surprise him. Um, first attack. He rolls a twenty-two to hit. That is a hit. That's a hit. Oof. And that's eleven points of damage. 
Um, do you want me to roll my second attack at the same time? Yeah, please. All right. Second attack is 25 to hit. And that's another... Ooh, that's tasty. 17 points of damage. Ooh, very nice. Yeah. So um, nice. you slash at his legs uh, in return for the... the um, the, the, the really the gaping wound that you have in the top of your um, flesh puppet's quadricep. Um, and um, what uh, for. you slash at his kneecaps. Um, you just cut both of his both of his kneecaps right off. They just fly <laughs> off. Uh, Patel, your friends uh, One after the other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pinging off the, the cliff face um, with a, a dull thwack uh, one after the other. <laughs> As you slice off his... Ding, ding. Uh, his <laughs> uh, Sasha. Uh, you're a funny kind of meal. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jack. <laughs> uh, Sasha. Um, Sasha's eyes flutter open with um, Louise standing over her uh, and is just a little bit confused and bewildered at the moment, um, kind of not knowing exactly how she ended up back up top on solid ground. Um and uh, is just gonna, is, is basically, I, I feel like it's kind of right that she's just sort of really weak and just like kind of looks out towards and sees the flaming tops of the, the tree on, um, you know, canopy uh, kind of over the, the edge and just like holds a hand out and then just blasts another fireball right at the, um, the tree on. Yeah, amazing. That was a good, good job. Well done. I think uh, that was worthwhile. I'm glad that we revived you. Thank, <laughs> thank you for the uh, the pick me up. But I still feel like shit. Um, what am I doing? You uh, look great, my lady. I think the the burnt off eyebrows really suit you. My eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ragyog, dial it back about twenty percent, eh? <laughs> Okay, thank, thanks, Sonny. Um, <laughs> no, dude. He fails. The tree blight fails. His, um, yeah, I'm save. actually just trying to see where my what my DC is. It's been a while since I do it. Oh, it would be a DC of 16. Is yeah, it got less anyway. than 10. So. Yay! Uh, so that is 8d6 of uh, fire damage, which will be... Two, four, eight. Did you say 8d6? Yeah. Oh, uh, what? 8, 13. Uh, I thought you just meant like a D8, and then I was like, that seems low. 13, 23, <laughs> 23 plus 9, uh, so 32. 32 okay, points of fire um, damage. Yeah, doubled, right? So the yeah. um, the fireball, debt, like the, the tiny pea of the fireball, flies like flaming nugget, flies through the air um, and just collects the um the tree blight right in the center of the forehead um and as it it explodes it just rips all the bark off the top of the the tree blight the top half cracks and topples backwards um with the bottom um remaining anchored into the ground and as the top falls back with a mighty crash into the the forest behind the tree roots that are lifting up through the ground to try and and grasp Sunny, go <laughs> dead and fall to the ground. Oh, I thought I was rooted. <laughs> <laughs> we can never leave you to die. Like a tree and leave. No, I'm I'm gonna gonna do that that one. I have no idea what you're <laughs> it's okay. We both said exactly the same joke at the same time. Uh, it was in stereo. <laughs> in which case, I wish I did say it. Um. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, it would have been a tree <laughs> fall. Huh? leaps forward. Oh, no one heard that. Oh. Hey. Oh. I guess you'll just have to pine for the moment that you lost. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. <laughs> I am sad because that was a red tree. <laughs> Um, oh, the Berserker leaps forward <laughs> and tries to grapple in, um, in character jokes, you, even better. Uh, Sonny. Even better. 
<laughs> is there a language the barrier? Part. I didn't get that. Um, me yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the berserker leaps forward and tries to grapple you, Sunny. So can you make a either strength. athletics uh, or strength? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I can. <sighs> um. All right. Got a good feeling about this. <gasps> I rolled a two on the dice. Hell, hell. Seven. <laughs> A nine. Um, so I, I, a nine. I rolled a four. Uh-huh. Uh, so. yes. <laughs> High stakes, uh, dear Weekly dick. Out, uh, out strength. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 <laughs> both wounded um, and like get like trailing blood as you like hobble on your broken knees towards each other. You get into this like almighty uh, tussle back and forth. Um, Just lightly the, slapping um, each other. No bell. No good you. <laughs> Just little pats. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Just, <laughs> uh, Nobody help me. Nobody help me. I got him. <laughs> um, and he grasps the the hilt of the um, the sun sword, trying to remove um, the energy weapon from your hands. Um, and he pins you to the ground. As he's gra- and- as he's grabbing the hilt, um, the meat puppet lets go of the sword, and the the <laughs> the berserker grabs the hilt. Grabs it. And as he, his his hands slick with his own um, knee blood um, slip on the hilt and he ends up like just clutching the handle and the pommel with, in one <laughs> slippery bloody hand. Yeah, the, as he does, the, the blade arcs out. The berserker grows some awesome facial hair <laughs> and <laughs> some flares pop out <laughs> from his around his ankles and then stabs himself. With the <laughs> with the energy sword. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, oh. He beheads himself with the uh, the energy sword oh. uh, performing a self coup de gras. Oh. Um, and as his that's as, not my as, Republican Party. As his helmet tumble, as his helmet and head tumbles down uh, with a shocked look um, at the outcome of his actions um, into the, the underbrush, um, the body drops to the ground and the um, the hilt of, of, of the sword tumbles out onto the roadway. Um, the coach driver looks bewildered. Yeah, the, the coach driver just lets out an almighty fart which you have been making him keep holding for days on end he immediately just pisses himself uh, and just just crawls into the the bushes weeping (laughs) way more than one tear way more more. sobbing um clutching himself whimpering yeah really really upset um, and I think that's, I think on that note is a perfect place to end yeah. this episode. On that brown note. <laughs> uh, which one of us is the real monster? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, that's, yeah, that is another episode of TPR Does not Curse of Sprite. <laughs> Hold on to your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, uh.